applications of Archimedes's principle in everyday life. Ship can stay afloat by displacing the weight of sea water equal to its own weight. The ship would sink to a certain level until its weight is equal to the buoyant force. Since the density of sea water varies from place to place, several indicator lines have to be included. A plimsoll line is marked on the hull of all ships to show the depths which are safe for them to navigate. A submarine has large ballast tanks. To control its position in the depth, it can submerge below sea level. When afloat, water is driven out from the ballast tanks by compressed air to reduce its weight and produce a larger buoyant force. When submerged, the ballast tanks are filled with water again to increase the weight of the submarine. The submarine can submerge to a depth where the buoyant force is equal to its weight. When the envelope of a balloon is filled with a gas of lower density than air such as hydrogen, helium or hot air, its weight decreases. The balloon experiences a buoyant force. If the buoyant force is equal to the total weight of balloon, it remains stationary or continue to move upwards with constant velocity. If the buoyant force is greater than the total weight of the balloon, it would be accelerated upwards by a net upwards force. A hydrometer is an instrument for measuring densities of liquids. The lower bulb is weighted with lead shots. To the stem is graduated with a relative density scale, having unequal divisions and values decreasing upwards. By applying the principle of flotation, the immersed length of the hydrometer in the liquid decreases as the liquid density increases, due to an increasing buoyant force. Thank you for taking time to watch this.